Well, there's nothing better than warming up on a cold day with a hot cup of tea or coffee. Yeah. Yes. And joining us this morning, a man who is very familiar to this building. We're going to tell you about that <laughs> coming up. Mr. Lee Ulrich, thanks for coming. Yes, in this thank morning. you. Pleasure. Lee was going to be with us last week, and then we had snowmageddon mm -hmm. round two, and I said, Lee, yeah. just stay home. Stay home. Thanks. And drink I some coffee. Well, okay. <laughs> yes. Introduce us to this, and introduce us to you. And I want to. Your story is so fascinating. Yeah, well, started, uh, well, I worked in TV for uh, multiple years, um, probably 20 plus, so different TV stations landed here at KCRG as production manager and then kind of moved on from there and kind of got into the world of coffee magically and it just seemed to really grow from there. So um, always had the concept for retail and always wanted to do retail, but I have more wholesale roasted. So I've been roasted since 2016 and, uh, and then 2019, 2017 actually moved out to my shop in Marion, mm -hmm. space next to me opened. I needed more room because I was adding a roaster. So to make a long story short, finally I had my dream of opening up a retail uh -huh. shop, beans, mm -hmm. teas and other things. And so we did that in 2019 and, and it's been, been doing really, really well. And this so. is so, and the nice thing about okay. bringing a former TV production mm -hmm. manager is he brings his own video. Oh, there we go. There's a store. <laughs> yeah, Taking a, a visual tour. Yeah, yeah. There so is there's so much variety there. Yeah, there yeah. Is. So there's, I mean, people say that, but I mean, it's, I mean, it's true. There is. There's like 70 coffees. We've got like 90 teas, and then the other things part is we're just kind of still playing with. We have everything from Lubin's Wines, their vineyard, because mm -hmm. they, they actually produce yep. behind me. I've got a guy that does kombucha behind me, so we do growler refills for him. So. So there's just, uh, it's, you know, I, I never really imagined it uh, being quite as, uh, as as accepted in the community mm -hmm. as it has mm -hmm. been just because, you know, you're out in the middle of nowhere right. really, and I've got coffee and tea on the shelf, and yeah. you know, we've just had it's just a tremendous following from the from the, from the the area, so it's been great. Yeah. How do you get beans in Iowa? Well, so I source from one primary source, they're actually a, a bee company, so they means okay. that they, uh, they ethically source coffee, and, and so I, all comes out of Minneapolis, they buy the top one to one and a half percent of the highest quality coffee in the world, and then I roast yeah. it to my interpretation. You know, coffee roasting is a lot like beer production in the fact that, you know, IPAs are going to vary mm -hmm. from different places. So, you know, even though I may have a Colombian in my shop, it may not be a match to the Colombian somewhere mm -hmm. else because it's really subject to how that roaster decides to roast it. So that's kind of kind of how that yeah. works. This okay. thing we're looking at right here. What, what, what yeah, so this is yeah. my roaster. So, okay. yep. Yeah. So I missed that part. There's two roasters. Um, the black one that you saw earlier is my original roaster that I bought in 2016. She's got a, 100 tons of coffee through her and then this is the newer one uh, that's fully automated so what you're seeing there mm -hmm. was the beans after they were roasted you know coming out of the roaster mm -hmm. fresh and so then you know we'll bag her do whatever yeah. we want to after it and I actually have a 20 kilo on order so it'll be four times the capacity of that wow. one. Wow. So. so all these bags yep. and uh, we'll, yeah. we'll take a look how many different varieties so do you have right now? Yeah. Right now on the shelf in coffee I've got 70 varieties between single origins <laughs> and I know it's a wow. little crazy <laughs> and and blends and flavored coffee and then there's actually cold brew packets I do that are mm -hmm. like a giant tea bag that you can turn into yeah. your own cold brew. But yeah, so I mean it just has kind of evolved and it's like when I was doing the store it's like well maybe this is an opportunity to kind of pair back on some of the, the blends I'm doing and you know some of the more valid ones you know that I mean they're all valid it's just that mm, right. earlier ones when you do a recipe for a while it's like well is this still good you know and every time I think about blowing one up somebody comes in and is like no this is my favorite so, <laughs> well, so that's why yeah, there's yeah. 70 on the shelf. What yeah. is your mm -hmm. go-to yes. cold day like today yes. what does Lee Ulrich bo uh, bring? I, temp I, tendency, I have a tendency to go darker I'm more of a dark roast person okay. um, and I think people in general when it's colder has a tendency to skew to a darker roast roast coffee you know but you know honestly I, I really brew um, whatever we have a remnant on a daily basis just a quality check and so it uh, you know so that's just kind of how that works you know so um, so we drink them all and I kind of like mm -hmm. them all cause, mm -hmm. you know because I roast them all well so. yeah, yeah. Well, and the <laughs> so next thing is, this is part one part two we're gonna tap into these uh, yeah because you mm -hmm. brought a little sample for I the did mm -hmm. I did so we're gonna do some stuff with that and see if we can uh, have some fun with it. Yeah, and oh, then we have to show good. off the mug too. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. So next segment, he brought a mug. Can you buy this mug, by yeah. the way? We're you can. Show little, okay. You can. Stick around okay. for that. Okay. So right. meantime, uh, as we kind of part ways for now, where can people find you? Oh, yeah. Beans Teeth and Other Things. It's on 62nd Street in Marion, which if you know where the Marion truck stop is, um, the new one, uh, basically that's 62nd Street. If you go down about a half a mile, I'm just off to the, okay. off to the okay. left. So, All right. Well, stick around. Yes. Okay. Don't go anywhere. You can no, have